Why, hello, everyone, and welcome to week six NFL algorithm. A lot to talk about. I spent some time with the uh, with the file today and reverse engineering some things because in the version uh, in the version that was sent out to everyone earlier in the week, we had Indianapolis way on top here, uh, and I was wondering what is going on here. What is going on here? And the answer is it had to do with um, Jacksonville. Oh, we got we got Katrina on the phone here. Hey, Katrina. Hi. How's it going? All right. All right. What's going on? I'm in the middle of an NFL video. Um, yeah. Do, do you have a budget for an NFL wager this week? Um, just the stuff I won from hockey. Oh, you, did, you won in hockey? Yeah. Oh, yesterday. oh my gosh. I didn't even, oh, that's right. You probably watched the video. I didn't even talk to you yesterday, sort of. Um, Wow. All right. Good. Um, so you have a budget. Well, perfect timing because we're talking about NFL and I actually did work. I, as you could probably tell, um, I did work digging through the file and I found a weird abnormality with one of the teams I dislike very much Jacksonville. And, uh, I had to change their, I had to change one of their stats and throw something in there other than a zero because they hadn't let in any points at home and it was screwing up everything. So I changed it. And now I have a, a better look that I'm more comfortable with. So we're going to go over all the games and come up with only winners, only things we think are, are going to win. All right. You ready? Okay. All right. Let's do it. First of all, number one, your favorite city to, to bet on is what? Tampa Bay. It is Tampa Bay. <laughs> Tampa Bay Buccaneers and a um, still married but potentially separated Tom Brady against a team that has no offense anymore the pittsburgh steelers says tampa bay wins this game 23 to 8 problem is um it's a bad line but it says they they will win and they will cover the nine and a half points so this is kind of like last week where i told you to skip over buffalo they were supposed to crush it and they did crush it and they covered will tom brady do that with tampa bay probably the algorithm says yes so I guess we're supposed to take Tampa Bay minus nine and a half because it is a, a touchdown to field goal, which it says they do that. Or um, or you could take Pittsburgh's oh, – no, I'm not going to make it complicated. It just says Tampa Bay minus nine and a half. All right. Number one. Okay. okay. All right. All right. That will probably be minus 110. So that's number one. We're just straight up listening to the algorithm. If Brady screws us, then, well, we know he's not screwing Giselle anymore. All right. Cincinnati versus the Saints. This is the number two up here, but the algorithm is bad with the Saints. So it's safer to stay away from this game because we know the algorithm has problems and we're just going to. We're just going to stay away from it. I should have done that last week. You would have not lost the Seattle game if we'd stay away from it. This one, it's in New Orleans too, which makes things weird. So we're going to skip over that because the algorithm's not good with the Saints. That's just something historically we know. Next game, we're not going to stay away from. Patriots versus the Browns. It says the Patriots crush this and they're an underdog. So absolutely New England Patriots to win at plus 120. That's what it's at. So that's the second pick. So you got Tampa Bay minus nine, nine and a half and you got Patriots to win. Next game, Arizona versus Seattle. Says Arizona wins this game and the line is not bad. Um, algorithm has not been great with Arizona. Says they win 1914 in an alternate score. It's way up on this list. It says an eight point margin of victory. So at minus 135, you take Arizona in Seattle, beating Seattle. So that's the Arizona Cardinals, which is a pick. Okay. Next. Baltimore versus the Giants. Says Baltimore wins this game. Wow. Um, says they only win by three in the alternate projection now. Defenses. Line is not good. Giants are playing well, but the algorithm still says they, they don't have a, they don't have much of a chance. Um, I'm gonna skip over for now because it's just a tough line. We'll go to the next game. Rams at home against the Panthers, minus 425. Yikes. Unbettable here also because the line's terrible and the spread is not consistent with the point projection. So it says Carolina will cut yeah, they're staying away from it because the Rams are not great either. Buffalo and Kansas City, the big game of the night. It 
says Buffalo wins this game, even in Kansas City, and the line is not that bad. And it says they win it by five. Um, so you take Buffalo to win because they are a strong team. So that's the Bills. Got four picks. Next, uh, the Washington game was Thursday night, and that was an awful, awful game. I hope you didn't do anything in that game. I'm just going to pull that game off here. And we're going to pull Monday night off of here also because I don't want to worry about – what is the Monday night game? Chargers goods. It's the game we haven't gone over yet. We're just doing Sunday. Um, so next, Dolphins and Vikings. Says the Dolphins beat the Vikings um, – even with their injury situation, I'm glancing at injuries real quick to see who's hurt. Rams are hurt. Patriots are hurting, unfortunately. That, that kind of stinks with that Patriots bet we just made. But hmm. uh, Cincinnati hurting. Another reason not to take them. That's good. Lions, Cowboys, everybody else is kind of reasonable. Dolphins still at a point six two. Is two a plane? Wow. I don't know. Um. There's been a weird injury situation with the quarterbacks on Miami and they've lost a couple games and it, it's just a tough time to know whether or not they're going to turn the tide right now. So we're going to stay away from that game. Next game, Eagles and Cowboys. Wow. That looks fun. Says Eagles win by three, but they have to cover six and a half. Wow. Wow. Um, hmm. Alternate score is 18, 15. And um, hmm, um, so this is a tough one. Uh, it's a game I want to play because it means something, and these teams are going to be trying. <sighs> Man, um, hmm. the alternate projected score is way under, and, and I kind of see that coming in. I said, this, you know, let me just keep going. It's just so tough. I'm just gonna keep going. Indianapolis Jacksonville game it says barely Indianapolis don't touch this game because I'm not happy with Jacksonville in the way that I think their defensive guy like threw the game last week so I don't want to touch that team so we're not playing them San Francisco and Atlanta says San Francisco barely but the line is not great mm. that's tough but this last game is interesting so Green Bay at home against the Jets it is at a minus 320 line the Jets are actually playing well and just knocked off Miami uh this game's in Green Bay, so you'd normally think, however, Green Bay's defense is injured 33%. And this is one of those where the Jets could go in there and shock it. Now, what have I always said about the Jets? Don't bet them. Yeah, but not, not anymore. Now it's don't, don't bet Jacksonville. You can bet the Jets. The Jets plus seven and a half because it says they might even win that game. It's an amazing bet to try to get them to win, but it looks like that game is going to be extremely close and potentially the Jets win by a touchdown. So if you get them plus seven and a half points, that's apparently a fantastic bet down here. So that's on there. That's five picks, okay, that are really good. I'm not going to try to stretch it out into seven because I just didn't really like much of what else was available. Um. Man, I really want to play this Philly-Dallas game, though. Um, Philadelphia is a better team, and so you can just take them to win at minus 260. It does not play well. Man, it's an NFC East game. It's a bad line. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stop talking to myself here. So there's five picks in there, all right? So let's yeah. say say you've got 50 bucks. Um, if you do two, – two, well, I know you usually do just one round robin. Just do the threes – Okay, so you had 50 bucks, $5 on every three combination. 50 bucks pays 340 if you win all um, all the games. And if you lose like Arizona or something, you still get 144. And if you lose Tampa Bay doesn't cover, you start losing money. So you have to go four and one or better. But these are, these are really solid, except the Jets is kind of weird solid. But the rest of these are pretty good picks. And Tampa Bay would have to cover 10, but the Steelers are just, I don't know what the Steelers are going to do to... to to play better because they just have not shown it in um this game's in pittsburgh at least but uh it is the number one pick according to the algorithm so all right what questions do you have for me no that's fast <laughs> yeah start start asking questions uh like i don't know you're a thinker start asking questions about betting about whatever go ahead because there's sure. i could talk forever you know yeah except i don't really think about football too much <laughs> well you think about betting 
Uh, you won with hockey because there was only four games last night. Would you win three of them or something? What happened last night? Yeah, I only bet the three that actually won. You didn't take the Rangers, okay? Um, I think so. What's that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would protect them to be a tie. I didn't take them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. So you looked at the the video and the and the sheet and went with that. All right. Well, I did do a um. You know, betting fewer picks will result in you winning more frequently because you'll have less variance. Um, these are a big five. There's obviously I'm going to do, uh, you know, I'm going to do a million things tomorrow and probably live bet and watch everything else and see how this is going. So I'll probably touch a lot of stuff. But uh, I have learned through this that it is a good idea to focus on only solid things where you have good versus bad as opposed to bad versus bad team, or even good versus really good team. Although a good versus really good team, you can play the better team. So, you know, teams you know how to win, want to win. And like this pick down here with the Jets plus seven and a half, I think that is a sleeper. I, I the, the algorithm is saying alternate score, the Jets win this game by a touchdown. I, that's a, an amazing, amazing line. I want to look at what that line is for a second, because you should, should put like a straight bet on this. 290, Jets are plus 290. Uh, so that's almost three to one that, that then it says that they can do that. And so um, there's some interesting stuff like that, that it might throw together on a, a different round robin for fun where you bet a little less, but if you hit a few of those, they're paying really great lines. So, um, so yeah, so keeping it simple, keeping it narrower for what you play is going to result in better outcomes um, more consistently. I would say, um, did you play hockey today? I did a big long video about hockey today. Yeah, I did. You did? What'd you take? Um, I don't know. You talked about a lot of stuff. <laughs> can, um, can you look at your phone while we talk and see what it was? Yeah. I want to know. Um, oh, it's Islanders. Um, see, uh, the Blues. See, you said Chicago over. No, I didn't say Chicago. No? I didn't say Chicago. I oh, mean the over, the over in the Chicago game? Yeah. Oh, I probably did say that. Yeah, I didn't say Chicago would beat anybody though. Oh, plant the plants too. Okay. Or they're okay. Or are they playing oh. Seattle. Seattle games where I think there's going to be an over. I don't know. We're, we're going past football. I'll I'll, I'll make this video short right. for the rest of football. <laughs> yeah, but point is, is um, you know, we are learning some stuff, and the the algorithm here. Um, I, I wish I could do better with the Saints, but. I just almost like stay away from them all the time. Just, they're just weird. Um, so just to know that is a good idea. And uh, this week, you know, what is this day going to do? Um, you got some potential landmines with injuries on the Patriots, but they looked really strong last week. Anyway, this is in Cleveland, but boy, it's Cleveland just <laughs> Cleveland is finding ways to mess things up this season. And so they're not a team you want to put money on the Baltimore giants game. I'm staying away from Baltimore to win at minus 240. They're up here on the list, and technically they could be on there. I'm giving the Giants a little more credit than I think is due, although they do have a running game. But this game's in New York. But, Gi oh, yeah, the Giants don't play good at home. That's what's interesting about the Giants. The Giants, they, for some reason, play much worse at home than on the road. So you can take Baltimore here and and change this bet around a little bit and pay more so that, that's something that could be on. all right i'll talk forever all right so you want to say bye to everybody got anything to say to to all the subscribers people like football videos no <laughs> okay all right well hopefully we'll win we are due for we're due for a week where you know this, this algorithm should be hitting um i mean there, there'll be a, a week where we hit you know at least top six out of seven for sure probably seven out of seven are we going to hit all these scares, Miami? I don't know. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. May all your picks be winning. Let's see. I have 10.